I had this guitar, which I call D guitar. It's, it's quite a pun, it's a joke, because every uh, string was tuned to the note D. And I played it with a bottle. Boom, 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 I hit it. It was, the strings were slightly higher. And this, together with a boat bass, I think, created a drone, which um, is still interesting for me. The drone hasn't gone away. And the melody I actually had already in my mind before we met in Hamburg for the recordings. And Klaus played wonderful drums on Weissensee. He was a drummer that's very important, of course, who at the same time while playing drums had his eyesight on the whole musical picture. So he was not a drummer who was only bothered about getting his drums in a perfect way, but thinking how this certain fill or uh, stop, whatever, would help shape the sound, the song. And the melody is, of course, uh, deceptively, if you will, simple, innocent and peaceful, which is not deceptive. It is meant that way. These um, harmonic changes, they were something I really thought about for quite a long time, whether they were justified at all, because it was the beginning of a, a path that went on for many years of trying to assemble one step to the next of a new musical language that was mine. So... Um, I wanted to avoid running into cliches or uh, traps of things that were around already. But in the case of Weissensee, I convinced myself, and I'm glad that I did, that this was um, justified, this harmonic change, because it is like breathing in and out. And so if you listen to the melody and when it comes to the point of the harmonic change, this is like breathing in, it's a tension in the body. And when on the other side it is released, it is like breathing out, exhaling, and like water coming down a waterfall, and then the drone continues. So this was something that I very much enjoyed when we had that together, it was uh, beautiful. Breathing in and then at the end of the other side, that's when it goes back to D. Sorry, I'm, you see, I'm still a primitive musician. I can't give you the, the proper expressions, which uh, there are, of course, um, proper uh, words for that movement from D to G. But it's, <laughs> it's all in my mind. <laughs> The movement on the slide ring or slide um, on the bottle was not meant to sound like blues. But there is, of course, some similarity. If you move up 
um, strings with a bottle or a slide finger that is how it sounds but yeah it was just one simple step up and then the release of the tension and the melodies also they are in that moment like a slightly confusing waterfall like when things just bubble along and then the song the drone calms down and it continues on the main forward movement. Well, it was one basic uh, melody which I had in my mind before going into the studio to record. There were not 20 melodies on my mind. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's pure luck that we got away with that. Um, very reduced input and maximum output. It was um, result of being maybe under lucky stars and of course with the help of Connie Planck who also made that track Weissensee sound so wonderful. <laughs> 